And we are recording. We are live. Oh, hello, Shy. Hello, Josh, mate. How are you? I'm very well, mate. How are you? How are you doing? I'm doing really well, man. Doing really well. Just working hard, doing my thing. How are you looking? You're looking healthy, mate. I'm looking at oh, jeez, thank you, mate. Thank you. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I put a bit, a little, say, extra, some little something, something did, on, uh, I knew I was talking to you in it, so I thought, oh, you know, to have a little trim and that, you know what I mean? Nah, you're looking course, good, man. You're looking good, man. You're putting, you're putting, thank you, bro. Thank have, you. Uh, lockdown freshness, I reckon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just a little bit of a lockdown glow. What can I say? A uh, little something, something. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I'll, first of all, you know, thank you for having me on the show, man. Like, uh, I'm, I'm glad to be on here. And I can't wait. I can't wait for this little chat that we're going to have. Bro, thank you so much for coming on, man. I, I mean, I mean, I've yeah. been, since I asked you to come on, I've been so gassed about, about having this chat, innit? Because obviously yeah, I know yeah. that you love music. Like, obviously we went to uni mm. together for, what, four mm-hmm. years? Um, four years, yeah. I know that you love music. I know you're big on, I know you're big on hip-hop as well, mm. like me. You know, you like your rap yeah. music. That, so I'm excited to have this chat, man. Of course, mate. I'm buzzing, I'm buzzing. Let's go for it, man. Cool, man. So music that impacted me then. So... What I'm going to ask mm. for three albums that impacted your life the most. Don't have to be any uh, any particular genre. Just any albums that has impacted your life the most. And um, we'll start off then. Shy on with album number one. So album number one. This is going to be an interesting one. So it's actually Tiny Temper Discovery. <laughs> oh, what? What? Come on! I love what that album. Throwback, mate. I love that album, bro. Mate, let me explain it. So, um, this is what nearly ten years ago now. So, when I first got the the, um, the iPod Shuffle, my dad bought me an iPod Shuffle. Right, the first album that came that came out and I put on that was the whole Tiny Temper Discovery album in it, and I just listened to that on repeat like so many times. And I just go to school listening to that all the time. and there was even, you know, that one song written in the stars. Yeah. I, um, I, I, so I had a YouTube channel and I put the lyrics of that song up on YouTube. And because I was the first one to put that up, I got a, like, I think it was like 600,000 views at one point for, for that music album, for that music video. Just for, it's just for lyrics. Yeah, 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 yeah. So a massive, massive, massively like tiny tempo, like massive throwback to that time. That's a huge influence for me because li- growing up and listening to that, that was uh, one of my favourite albums. That's a madness, <laughs> you know. We're, we're in the presence of uh, YouTube, YouTube royalty, you know. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Mate, I, I got some like YouTube, a little bit of YouTube money out of it, but then they blocked the video because of course like um, copyright and all of that stuff. Yeah, yeah. But this is like 10 years ago, so they didn't really pick up on it as straight away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I made it a little bit, but before I, <laughs> before uh, before they ended up, you know, striking on the the, the video. That is mad. That, I, you know yeah. what, mate? I was sitting there before, um, I was kind of thinking to myself, I was like, what album is he going to go for? That That is so left wing. I was not expecting that, man. <laughs> but I'm gasping. That is a sick album. Mm-hmm. Discovery is a sick album. I don't care what anyone says, man. Mate, there's so many bangers on there, bro. Like, come on, come on Frisky, Miami to Ibiza, yeah. Pass Out. Yeah, uh, Wonder Man with Ellie Goulding as well, mate. Wonder Man. This is before she became massive. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah snap, yeah. snap as well. Uh, snap I like as well. Awesome. Um, but yeah, no, it's a good album, and, and it's it's uh, it, you know, it's like you said, it's a collection of bangers. It really is. Yeah. I I mm. remember. Um, <laughs> his, I think the first song that dropped from that album was Pass Out. Yeah, about two thousand nine yeah. time, something like that, or maybe yeah. two thousand eight. Yeah. I can't remember. And uh, I was looking at tickets to go and see to, to go and see him, uh, and the mm. album hadn't dropped yet, right? And it was it was eight pound fifty tickets, or maybe like ten pound tickets. I was like, yes, 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 oh, gas man, I gotta go. So I gotta go. I, I talked to we talked to one of my mates. Right, we gotta go. We gotta go down in London. Ah, uh, you know, obviously we're up in middle of nowhere in some villages in, in like Northamptonshire. Do you know what I mean? I was like, ah, oh, London. I don't. Mm-hmm. Like, what 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 were we in like twenty ten? Like eleven years old or something? He were 11 um, or 12. 14, just started. 14, 13, 14. Yeah, no, I think we were 12 or 13. I was like year seven, year eight when I, yeah. when, I when the first album, when that album first drops. Yeah, yeah. And we're yeah. like, oh, we'll go down to London. But uh, you needed to take someone that was over 18. <laughs> and that was oh. our downfall. <laughs> we're like, we're like <laughs> we had no one. We had no one for like a go. So we didn't go. We didn't go. Oh, and like, yeah. next thing you know, Tiny Temper is, is huge, isn't it? It's massive. Oh, 
that you must have been gutted when you heard, when you heard that. Yeah, well, it was disappointing, man. But I mean, it, it's mad. Like he's not dropped anything that's been like anywhere near as good since that album. If you, since that album. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. You're right. It's, it's mad. And now, yeah, and nowadays, like, what do you even call him? What's his name? Tiny or Temper? Or yeah, yeah. Like... He wanted to be called. I think we wanted to be called Tiny, didn't he? I, I don't. I don't even know, man. But I'm always gonna remember him as Tiny Temper, bro. That's yeah. the thing. Um, and there was that period when it was like, he was did bits in 2011, like he was smashing it. Did you know what I mean? I remember mm. what was the oh, sh- I can't remember what it's called. He did, he brought out this like mixtape, right? But obviously before um, before Discovery came out and it had yeah. like Wifey. Have you, heard, you ever heard Tiny Temple Wifey? Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a classic, man. It's a class. It's a UK mm. rap classic. And mm. you know he he was big on the come up, like he was really big on that come up. He came out, obviously yeah. he brought out Discovery, quite quite a poppy album, and then um, and then yeah, he's just kind of rode that pop wave, isn't it? Like over these, yeah. Last- Mate, it just Capital FM like banging that on every day before school, and it's just all of his all of his songs were on there, mate. And you know, I mean, like, like that's 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 just you know, that's my starting point in terms of listening to music. And like being a fan of music, that that album was like a, a big factor in terms of that. What Massively. like music, like music, full stop. Yeah, yeah, just like because I've never had a chance. I've never had, before then. I never had a phone. I never like had the internet. And when I had this iPod Shuffle, that was the first album I ever put onto my iPod Shuffle. And I'd be listening to that on repeat. So that was my first sort of taste in terms of my own music collection. And that was like the beginning of a very lo- big library. Yeah. yeah. So, what's your opinions of Tiny as like a as as as, as a rapper? Like, I know obviously he makes he, he makes good poppy mm. songs, but if you were to put him in in a sort of um, a rap battle, a sort of fire in the booth situation, I mean, what, what's your kind of thoughts on him as a spit? I don't I don't think he'd do as well in like a fire in the booth as, as uh, because he's not really. I mean, he's a rapper, but he's more leaning towards pop music. Um, and it was more sort of mainstream, do you know what I mean? Rather than an actual sort of rapper. The only guy I could see right now today who's mainstream but could also do Fire Booth is like Stormzy or something like that, do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. But I don't think Tiny had that. It was a lot, you'd see him on like GQ or something, do you know what I mean? Tiny, he was really well dressed and all of that stuff. And I, I like that, but I don't see him being like a Fire and a Booth kind, type of person. Yeah, person yeah. Anyway. Yeah, yeah, no, I get you, I get you. And uh, Disturbing London, obviously, the, the label he made, he brought out the clothing yeah, cool. and that, like, it, it, it's very obvious that he came out as, as a brand, didn't it? Like, that was his, like, yeah. his, his goal was to come as a brand, not as a sort of upcoming rapper, you know? And, and also, Chip bodied him. I don't know, do you remember the, uh, <laughs> yes. the beef of him and Chip? Chip <laughs> absolutely so bro, bodied bro. him, man. <laughs> like, no coming back, wow. man. No coming back, dickhead. That's what it's called. Was that before the whole Chip and Young and beef? That was way before Chip and Young. Right? Uh, oh, good question. I'm not sure. I'm not sure when. I can't remember the timeline. Yeah. Shut up, you dickhead, you dickhead. <laughs> <laughs> that tune, man. It was a tune. Honestly, <laughs> Tiny, oh, Tiny was yeah. rinsed. Tiny was rinsed. Yeah. <laughs> cleaned out, cleaned out. But the only, only fire, and fire back for Tiny was that he was more famous than Dick Chip. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. True. Man. And he would have been called Chip. It was called Chipmunk back in the day. So Chip Diddy Chip, yeah. <laughs> Chip Diddy Chip. <laughs> when I so, think yeah, about yeah. Tiny Temper, it kind of reminds me a bit yeah. like Flow Rider. You know, like like Flow Rider, right? Would never be yeah. accepted in hip hop. Really, let's be honest. In, in, in like, no, the hip hop no, no, scene, no. but I get exactly where you're coming from. Pop tunes. Mm. From yeah, yeah, yeah. You get me? Uh, you're right. Actually, it could be the UK version of Flow Rider. Yeah. That's what I reckon. That's what I reckon. That's a good comparison. Yeah, I rate that. Yeah. Tiny Temper. Jeez. What a selection, man. What a selection. He's a Londoner as well. Where's he from in London? Do you know? Uh, Not from the top of my head, actually. Um, I don't. I think he's South. South London. London? I think so. I'm, I've got to double check that, but I'll, yeah, I'll yeah, find yeah. out exactly get back to you on that. Yeah. That's cool, man. That's cool. Mate, yeah. that's a great choice. I mean, we started this off well. I like that. Discovery. <laughs> good, 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 good album. Bang it, bang good, uh, good project. What's the second yeah. album? Second one, you're going to be shocked about this one. So, obviously, growing up listening to like lots of rap and you know hip hop and stuff, but then I wanted to diversify my like sort of my ears and you know open myself up to new music. So one of my friends actually recommended me this album, and ever since then, it's been it's been released seven years ago. But since then, I, I listened to it almost like once every other month, 
Um, the album is AM by Arctic Monkeys. <laughs> yes, mate. <laughs> You're shocked, aren't you, mate? No, I'm serious, bro. I'm serious. Now, this is like the first album where like it opened me up to like that other side of sort of like music, not always listening to rap and hip hop and trying to like diversify. And mate, it's so many bangers on that album, bro. And it's I, it's still on like UK um, album top like 100 list, like 300 weeks later or something like that. <laughs> You're shocked, aren't you, mate? <laughs> Shy, I thought I knew you. I thought I thought you know what? We're really good mates. I thought I knew you, but <laughs> I've been blown mate, out of the water with your first two choices. Maybe I don't know you at all. <laughs> Arctic Monkeys. Now, nah, I must admit, Mate, I mean, I, I, I rate the Arctic Monkeys a lot. I like Arctic Monkeys, but I was not yeah. expecting you to say you like Arctic Monkeys. Like, no, nah, no, nah, massive fan, massive fan. I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not a huge fan of the whole indie music and the indie scene. And when you know, when we go to like Mosh, for example, in Leicester, yeah, right, and their bottom floor is indie, indie music. I stick out like a sore thumb <laughs> right there. <laughs> The only time I actually like sort of get sort of gassed is when they'll put like some kind of, you know, um, uh, you know, sort of Arctic Monkeys tune. But like if they put on like Blink 182, I'm sorry, I'm just gonna have to go to the smoking <laughs> area, mate. I'm serious, bro. <laughs> um, but that, no, that was like an album where it just sort of, oh, like that's when I opened me up to other sort of genres of music. And that was it. That was sort of the gateway in, 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 in a sense, yeah. It's a good album. AM is a good album. To be fair, I mean, mm. if you, if you're if you're, I, I, I know some Arctic Monkeys fans which are, which are like massive Arctic Monkeys fans. So I mean, yeah, they, they like love them, and they'd say that probably AM's not not their best work. You know, it's good. It's good songs. No, no, but it's not yeah. their best work. Um, mm. Have you have you like listened to like their older stuff or? Have I've you, listened have you to yeah, them? yeah, yeah. So, so I've listened to like you know, obviously uh, fluorescent adolescence as well. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I can understand why they're saying, you know, AM's not one of their favourite because um, AM sort of was more sort of mainstream. It did become sort of mainstream. Um, but for like a, an entry level listener listening to indie music, I think this is a great album to sort of go off from. And like, it's got a few bangers, you know. Um, I think for me, my personal favourite was uh, Arabella. Arabella is probably my favourite song on that album. Um, nice. But yeah, no, it's uh, it's an interesting one. I, I, I can I can tell you that much. Mm. Who uh, so who who recommended you the album? Show was it was it was it a girl by any chance? It was, a, it was a, a a friend of mine. Um, you won't obviously know them. It was before uni, of course. Uh, but that's it. Yeah, I would. I would I was, <laughs> that's what I'm gonna say. <laughs> <laughs> when I say to, like like Jose Mourinho once said, if I say too much, I'll be in big trouble. <laughs> <laughs> if we I say uh, I'm in big trouble. <laughs> I won't know too much. Yeah. I won't I won't press too much on that then. Um but uh no that's a great choice though. AM's a great choice. AM's a really good Thank choice. You. Um mm -hmm. Arabella big tune as well. And I kind of I agree with uh with kind of what you're saying about it being a bit more mainstream. Um there's a lot more there's a lot more kind of rocky but kind of light rock poppy vibes to the album. Yeah. Uh, in my opinion, yeah. compared to uh, to compare compared to much of their previous work, um, but it's still it's still a good album, nonetheless. Still a great Personally, album, not my favourite. Yeah. It's not my favourite no, no. album. No, but I can understand that. Yeah, sure. It's it's, it's it's a good album, nonetheless. Right then, third choice. What's your third choice? <laughs> of music one, 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 be, uh, it won't be that shocking for you. Um, it is "Get Rich or Die Trying." Knew by it. None other than Fifty Cent. Boom. <laughs> you know what? Um, I was waiting for it, man. I knew, I, I knew that. Yeah, yeah, I bet yeah, money yeah. on that. I bet money on that. Um, so yeah, obviously, obviously, this is a tough choice. But all three of the, uh, his albums, you know, uh, the Massacre as well, and Curtis. Um, but it has to be Get Rich or Die Trying. Um, for those, for those who don't know me, I my favorite artist of all time is Fifty Cent. Um, I listen to him almost every day uh, in the gym free drinks you know and like in a night out you know when in the club comes on do you know what i mean it's game over <laughs> i love i love 50 cent massively massively in the gym and free drinks in the night out every single day that's shy on that's a shy <laughs> lifestyle you know <laughs> come on come on, come on. Uh, but it was a tough one honestly because curtis i think probably um 
I prefer, prefer that to the massacre because it was much more gritty, much more sort of serious. Um, it had a sort of um, serious undertone to the album. But Get Rich or Die trying, there were so many bangers, you know, do you know what I mean? Um, and of course, the album itself, you know, it, it propelled 50 into that, who he is today, like a huge, huge pop star. Mm-hmm. What's your what's your what's your favorite uh, what's your favorite track from the album if you have one? Oh, um, twenty one questions probably. Twenty one questions. questions. Yeah, yeah twenty one questions. It's a smooth jam. Do you know what I mean? That guitar yeah. riff. <laughs> oh, it's genius. Man. It's a great little yeah. guitar riff. It's a great. It's it's cool. it's. Yeah. Uh, it's it's iconic. It's iconic. You know, it's a banging yeah, album. Yeah. Like, and and you, you know, like like I said, I knew you, I knew you were gonna go. I, well, I had an inkling you were gonna go through this album, but I mean, mm. I've got no problem with that at all because it is a it's an exquisite album. It's brilliant, and to many, it's considered um, like iconic, like legendary. Do you know what I mean? Like legendary yeah, status. Yeah. You know, when you're talking about yeah, iconic hip hop albums, and you're talking about like Illmatic and uh, Reasonable mm-hmm. Doubt, mm-hmm. you know, many, and Marshall Mathers LP, many, many, many yeah. people, many men, <laughs> many, <laughs> many people uh, put, <laughs> I love that. put Get Rich or, or Die Trying um, in, in that category, rightly so, you know, um, he, he was great, weren't he, 50 Cent, early 2000s. Mm-hmm. Early 2000s, bro, he, he, he took over the scene, and I always say, you know, some people love, you know, um, Eminem, you know, over 50 Cent, but for me, it's always got to be 50. Um, and the only regret I have is never going to a 50 concert, do you know what I mean? It, when he was in his prime. Uh, I know you you went to one, didn't you? Uh, a little while ago. To see 50 Cent? Yeah, well, is there, wasn't there one in Birmingham you went to? Or, oh, or, I saw Kendrick, uh, I saw Kendrick. Kendrick. <laughs> Kendrick, oh, that was I it. I saw Kendrick, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, nice. I'd love oh, to see man. 50, though. I'd love to see 50. Yeah, yeah, we've definitely got to go. Um, but yeah, no, you're right. You're right. What you say, he, he he completely changed the game. He um, so this kind of uh, this come up uh, strategy of of mixtapes of like you know mm. of, of 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 mass producing these big mixtapes, but like making them as though they could be studio albums, like making them so good, was it or is accredited to Fifty Cent. Like the way he came up through the game and through the industry, yeah. um, you know, he was putting out these fantastic tapes with, like, you know, and obviously mixtapes. Um, standard, standardly, the, the 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 quality just isn't there compared to studio albums, you know, because yeah. I mean, there's not as much budget. Uh, you, you're not working with many uh, many top class producers and lots of different. Things. But fifties mm-hmm. mixtapes before before he released it. Before, of course. Like, yeah, like, he, he sort of brought it fire. through. Yeah, of course. And you know, he was you've got to listen look at his like life story as well. Going back to it, he you know, obviously, you know, he was selling crack um at a young age. He lived in a rough neighborhood and like if you read through his his life and his biography and in terms of the business he's at he's had since then, it, it's mad. Like it's incredible what he's achieved so in his in his career and in his life. I'll go I'll I'll go out on a limb and I'll say there's, there was no one better in two thousands at writing hooks than Fifty Cent. That Fifty Cent, I agree. I agree. I'm, gonna I'm not going to disagree. I, I mate. Yeah. I'm trying to think now. I can't think of anyone between two thousand to two thousand and ten. Maybe Kanye. Mm. Maybe I don't know. That could write a better Kanye, hook yeah. and, a, and a better rhythm, you know, or, or incorporate a better rhythm into a tune. The Fifty Cent, yeah. he, he was, it was, he was on his own level. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. He's on his yeah. own level. He was mad. Um, and, you know, he's a funny guy. I mean, do you, do you follow him on his social media? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's Instagram, mate. <laughs> right. He makes oh, me mate. freeze. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, he's a, a funny, funny guy. guy. Yeah, Get the strap. Uh, Get the strap. But, of course, but, and it, it, of course, not even just music in terms of moving into TV as well. Like, you got, obviously, you've got power. Yeah. Massive. Yeah. Um, uh, and, and going on to that, you know, he had that vitamin water, he had all of this stuff. He had that SMS by 50 as well, yeah. that headphone brand. Did you ever so watch he, the Get Rich or Die Try in film? Yeah, of course, of course. I can't lie to you, I think Eight Miles Better, Yeah. right? But yeah, I can, I, I, I can, I still enjoyed it. I say I still enjoyed Get Rich or Die Try, and I'm not going to hate it at all, but I yeah. think I preferred Eight Mile, just in, in terms of the whole sort of uh, the story and the acting as well. 
What do you think about uh, what? What's your thoughts on like G Unit? And um, actually, I've got a better question for you. I've got a better question for you. Go on, go on. So uh, I don't know what you think about game, like the game, but this this whole <laughs> yeah. that they, they've had over years and years and years. Um, who do you think? And I, I know you're probably going to say. Sorry, mm -hmm. I, I, yeah, I think you're going to say fifty. But who do you think's the better rapper? And who do you think's the better artist? That the game and fifty. That is easy. Yeah, fifty, fifty, easily. 50 easily. I think the game game is good. Um, I only started listening to the game more recently. Um, I never listened to the game when I was a lot younger, but um, I personally find 50 Cent is he's more raw and he's more you know he's more true to himself personally. Um, but no, the, we can't diss the game. The only time we hate the game, I think me and you remember this, when he came to Leicester, well, he came to Leicester, he was meant to perform, but he didn't, did he? He said he was too waved or something. Or some yeah, it's too waved. Like yeah. I'll tell you what, big guy though, is a, I mean, I'm, I am not go up to his face. I'll tell you what, mate, I won't go up to his face to, turn to perform. He's a big guy. I remember we uh, we were we were looking at, we were in the smoking area, weren't we? Like, the, well, the, sorry, the VIP bit, the VIP bit. Mm -hmm. I was looking at the entourage, didn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I knew he was a tall, big guy, but <laughs> it was massive. Yeah. Like, like when he walked past, you. you're like looking like that, man. Like, you're looking up. Yeah, yeah. Trust me. Um, big geezer. But, but I think I think they're, I think they're very similar in some ways. That they're similar, yeah. Both of them, their first release. So for Fifty, Get Rich or Die Trying. Or for the game, the documentary. I think both mm -hmm. of them have been their best releases in their career. Both of them started yeah. off with with really huge, big um, releases. I don't think the documentary is anywhere near on the level of Get Rich or Die Trying, but I do mm. think both of them are, are iconic albums. You know. Yeah, I mean, of course. Yeah, when definitely. You, when you go back, you know, in, mm. in in ten, twenty years time, when they want to go back in history and go through hip hop, I think you've got to make that both of those albums. You know, um, mm. but. Um, but yeah, that's mad. That's mad. Fifty cents. Of cents. course, fifty. Uh, just a question for you then, Josh. Out of those three albums of fifty, obviously, uh, Get Rich or Die Try, Massacre, and um, Curtis. Which one do you prefer the most? Oh, Get Rich or Die Try. That's not even. That's not even, a, that's yeah. not even a second floor. I mean, I like Massacre. I, I got the. Okay, yeah. uh, I got the the special edition Massacre, and it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a massive album. <laughs> I can't remember. There's so many tunes on it. <laughs> I remember like the, the the exact chat scene, but I remember getting the special edition on CD. And I remember thinking, yeah. oh, this album's like too big, man. But too um, big, yeah, cool. I, I, I like Massacre. Curtis is good. I, I do like Curtis. Mm. But um, yeah. no, for me, Get Rich or Die Trying. Another song. Cool. I, I don't. I, I can't remember if it's on Get Rich or Die Trying, but Hustler's Ambition by Fifty Cent. Oh, of course, yeah, 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 definitely. Bang One on. of the most underrated tunes. In, in hip hop history, man, like that guy cool. tells a story, bro. He's telling a story, yeah. and it's so, uh, you know, like you feel it. Do you know what I mean? You feel it. You feel the pain and the the come up, and he does all that so beautifully on this track, Hustler's Ambition. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, but no, I, he's a legend. He's a legend. He's a legend. I can't. Yeah, lie. he's a legend. He's a legend. But obviously, I don't know. Music is him for now. Like for him, it's going well because obviously he tried releasing a couple of albums since then. Didn't really go that well. But none of, none of us really listen to it, do we, nowadays? Um, well, that's the thing, around. Around. That's the, I mean, you know, he rappers have their time in it. Like, if Snoop brought out an album tomorrow, mm. you know, I don't mm. think I don't think it, it gained that traction that he would ten years no. ago. That doesn't mean he's not a legendary rapper. Do you know what I mean? Exactly. Exactly. Just it's just you know, phases come and go, isn't it? Phases come and go. Um, I think he's I think he's just very happy being an internet troll. If I'm being honest. Like, he loves that. Like, he's sitting on there, yeah, like, he's rinsing he's people. He's money now, isn't he? Yeah, he can do that. My favourite 50 Cent story, and you, you you, definitely already know this. You know, you're yeah. a 50 Cent fan. But the, the obviously, the, the beef with Ja Rule and Murder, Inc. Uh, it, was, it, was after, <laughs> it was the aftermath of Slim Shady Records versus uh, Murder, Inc. Records. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ja Rule versus Eminem and, and 50 Cent. And at this Ja Rule concert, like in the, I can't remember what year it was, in the last few years, 50 Cent brought out, like he, he brought three quarters of the of the seats, of the stadium <laughs> seats. So Ja Rule would come out and perform to like a row of people. It was so funny. And That's it was so, so rude. <laughs> it's like what you can imagine. 
Who wants money? Um, um, but nah, he's a joker, man. He's a joker. Three good albums yeah. there, though, man. Yeah, thank you, man. There's very, uh, very uh, different albums, all three of them, but yeah. Um, oh, just one album that I wanted to add, just as a yeah, number yeah, one. Yeah. Top, just a quick one. Yeah, Skepta cool. Konichiwa. Konichiwa? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Just as a, that's just as a little afterthought. Uh, as another album that we as all of us as uni lads we all sort of enjoyed um mm. of course me and a couple of us you know we went to um alexandra palace to listen to watch skepta live and that was unreal that was like one of the, the best shows i've ever seen as well so i wanted to add that at the end well, that's mad I was, obviously i was supposed to come with you weren't i i sold my ticket yeah yeah, yeah. i sold my yeah. ticket um but yeah no that, that would have been mad like, I, i'm jealous i'm so jealous i couldn't come along man why so uh just out of interest then why could why specifically kanishiwa over um over over his previous albums um so his previous albums were much more raw um and they were much more yeah i think uh, for me microphone champion was a great album but i think kanishiwa there were just more sort of bangers and more songs that i i really enjoyed and i sort of knew the lyrics to it anytime any of those songs came out you know i knew it straight away uh, Micro and Champion, of course, it was a great album, but for me, yeah, yeah, it's got to be Kanichiwa. Uh, and in terms of like the success it's had since then as well, it was the first sort of album that pushed towards mainstream as well. Obviously, it won a Mercury Award as well, the Mercury Prize. So um, it beat, I think it beat David Bowie as well, didn't he? That that album. What Black yeah. Star? Yeah, Black Star, yeah. twenty sixteen. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it, it, it had a massive effect, obviously, in the UK. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So. What did you think about his uh, his 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 newest album? His did Did you listen to it? The um... no, really not even. Oh. Um, I literally it? had it in my head a second ago, and then it's just gone. There's a couple songs in there. Put it from the garden. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. That, that's one of the tracks on the album. Um, yeah. Surprisingly, I I actually I I didn't think it was as good. I don't no, want to say yeah. he's like dropping off, but I was listening to it. I was thinking, I don't, I don't know what it is about the album. Do you know what I mean? Like, um... I think, it's a tough one because I think after the success of Konnichiwa, he dropped off massively. Um, and there were stories of him. You know, I mean, he had a few songs with ASAP Rocky as well, but there, there were stories of him you know, sort of going off the rails a little bit, not really caring about the, um, the grime, you know, the grime scene and. It was it was that those next sort of two three years have, after that album were a bit of a weird one for him I think yeah and so that's why we didn't hear much from him I think the quality of music he's putting out now personally isn't as great as that time mm. in, in my opinion yeah ignorance is bliss. What, 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 ignorance is bliss is the name of the album um, yeah, yeah 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 from last year I agree with that I agree with you. and it seems like uh, like UK music now has changed so much like since mm. since drill has yes. um, has come to like the forefront you know uh it's, it's changed massively like you compare it to you know songs uh or, or to artists like old school dizzy and like to old school yeah. Wiley and old school gets and even if you come forward to like mike righteous and artists like that like mm -hmm. it's just a completely different sound now and uh yeah, yeah. I, i'll tell you what I'll, I, don't, I don't know if you've heard it yet but recently over this last week mm -hmm. nines released an album yeah, um, yeah 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 i tell you what yeah. mate that is the best uk rap album i've listened to i want to say in years genuinely yes years. I, I agree mate i agree you don't you don't release much regularly but when he does mate it just absolute bangers man album is cold bangers. Oh, mm. psychodrama i loved um yeah and, uh, and and there's nothing great about Britain, slow type, you know. But this, I, I genuinely, I, I, the, the annoying thing is as well, right? This Nines album won't get the same reception mm -hmm. as the slow type and the Dave out. And, you know, no, of course it's, not. it's like a most stack and it's about, but it deserves it because the album is cold. It's so, sick, it's sick. So good. Um, mm. Before we finish up then, do you have any, you, sure. can, you can have one more album to uh, to recommend. Sure. What album would you recommend people listen to? So maybe something about uh, Oh, this is an interesting question, man. Um, Might be something you listened to recently, or if there was if there was what um, an artist I'd want people to listen to a little bit more, uh, I think you'll be a huge fan of this, Josh. 
but it's uh, Shabba Ranks. Uh, when he, <laughs> you know, he's got three songs. He's got Champion Lover, Mr. Lover Man, and oh, shit, I can't remember the last one off the top of my head. Oh, the one you'd always put on in the um, in the, in the issue. Ding a ling a ling. Uh, yeah, 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 ting a ling, ting a ling. Ting a ling a ling. The reason why I just recommend that to people is because you know, in, in these times as well, you know, it's tough, tough times for people. So, um, and a, a music like that where it's uplifting, uh, it's it's a feel good, uh, a feel good like feel good songs. And uh, and a lot of a lot of people, as soon as I put that song on, they always look around, turn around at me, start smiling. I know you used to crease every time you put it on at a party. <laughs> it's nothing but good vibes, so, man. Yeah, it's good vibes. vibes. That's what I'm trying to say. It's good vibes when you've listened to that kind of music, just because you know it, it's funny, it's different, um, and, and I think I definitely think people can enjoy that. Mate, mm -hmm. only you would come onto my blog and recommend Shabba Ranks, you know, like <laughs> that is the most shy thing I think could have happened and it's happened. Sh <laughs> it's happened, mate, it's happened. Shabba Ranks. It's the first thing came off my head, mate. Mm. <laughs> well, mate, it's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you so much for coming on the blog. Um, Thank you, bro. Thank you for having me. So much, man. Love, man. Love. Um, take mm. it easy. I hope, uh, I hope the rest of the year goes your way, man. Of course, man. We'll definitely need to link up soon as well, my bro. We'll link up, man. We'll link up. I'll come down definitely. to London, innit? Cool. Yeah, for sure. All right, man. Thank you Take very much, care. Shai. Take care, man. Thank you.